Good afternoon, welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Today is the 17th of April, and we're downstairs with Grace's kids. And this is a lap full that I overflowed, didn't we? Um, I'm dying to see how much these guys weigh today. So they haven't seen toys now that they're up a little bit more ambulatory, because if we give toys with Grace, Grace is gonna shred them and possibly just eat them all. So for those of you that have never seen us before, uh, thanks for finding our channel. And these are Schnauzer puppies. Grace has a little tiny bit of standard Schnauzer in her. We actually, she was bred here. Um, we used to have standard Schnauzers. So we actually bred a standard Schnauzer to a mini and kept that litter. Oh, not the whole thing, but we kept puppies from that litter. And then we bred that puppy when it was old enough back to a mini. So Grace is about a 29-pound schnauzer, between 27 and 29, depends on the time of year. And these guys are little cement blocks. They are so cute. They're just starting to get their feet. Are you scared? I know, I'm gonna move over. Well, there's not enough room for all of us. No, there's not enough room for all of us. So today, I don't know where you live, but today is freaking miserable around here. We are snow. We're rain. We had all these ferns on the patio today, and I said, oh, Vanessa, I said, it's snowing. We gotta go get the plants. So we rushed out to get the plants. It's too cold to do anything outside with puppies. And so we are, <coughs> oh goodness, that was a bark. He says, oh, this floor is slippery. Can't get my feet moving. He says, okay, come on, come on. You're gonna make it, get up here. There you go. <laughs> uh, they're not used to slick floors as of yet. I know, you're just, too big, aren't you? So today we're going to uh, get over out of their way a little bit more. We're going to give them their collars. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, he said scratch right there. Little scratch right there. They had a bath. I think today Brittany gave everybody a bath. Nope, these haven't. They're the last ones. Okay, they have not today. I know Brittany did baths all day long, and this was the last litter we didn't get done. So they're first thing in the morning. So. They're doing really good. Are you trying to come over here? I know, I see you. Your tail's wagging, that's a good thing. And I hate it, because I'm gonna put collars on them today, and they're gonna hate me. So they're not gonna like collars whatsoever. What? You're fine. Well, nope, there goes those feet on that slippery floor. Yeah, you don't like slippery floors yet, do you, bud? No, sis, that's slippery. That's slippery. They actually, we raised them on carpet, you're going right back out there and you're going to fall. He says, oh, it's slippery out there. I'm turning around. Uh, we dumped them out on the floor at their three-week birthday. I hope you're going backwards. Wrong way, bud. Here you go. Oh, you made it. Good. Oh, oh no, no. Keep coming. Come on. You can do it. Oh, there you did it. Good job. I saw that tail go. Yes, I did. He says, okay. I'm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank God. He said, that's it. <laughs> This is the best. It's okay. I know it. Goodness <laughs> sake. I know. It's bad. So we're going to give them uh, new collars. We're going to see uh, blue eyes, no blue eyes, and all that stuff. Um, yesterday, it would have been such a nice day to do it outside. We were actually out in t-shirts. Today, I have a turtleneck and a hooded sweatshirt on, and I'm just right. Even though I have the furnace back on. We had the air conditioning on the night before last. So... It's like, come here, bud. Climb up here. Uh, we are, this one says, he's trying to walk on it too. Um, I don't know. I wish the weather would get itself straightened around. Vanessa loves this cold weather, not me. I hate cold weather. All right, you get up there on your feet. There you go. Yep, I know it. Get your feet under you and get going. Are you having trouble on the carpets? Yep, there. Um... So these guys are, oh, I forgot to look at dates. I don't remember how old these guys are. I know, I'll find it. Uh, so today is the 17th. So that makes them um, on the 420, they're going to be five weeks old. So we've got about three days to go and they're going to be four weeks old, five weeks old. So they're getting there slowly, but surely they're getting there. Um, all right, so we're gonna start out, since this one's been over here, and you have double blue eyeballs, don't you? Yeah, you have double blues. 
So this one has double blues. This one is 8954 is the microchip number. And this one is a blue merle with tons and tons of coat. This probably is not gonna show any spotting until you cut this coat, but there's lots of spots down under here where there's like black hairs, little groups, but when they blend together, it's hard to see because it's kind of like a steel gray color on the outside right now. Huh, see, but when we give you a haircut, it would show. Let me see your peepers. Yeah, you know, you could go either way. Um, um, they look blue right now, so if they stay, we're good. But I can't tell you what they're going to do right now. I can't tell you. No. And he's got, this is a he, right? It's a hebe. Yep, it's a hebe. So we're going to give this guy, let's give you a color that will stand out. Let's give you a red collar. So we're going to give him a red collar. And he will have that on until the day he goes home. And if you don't like a red collar, it's no big deal. So when you come, we will just swap it out for something else, the color that you want that's not red. Because we usually take these off of them anyway, because usually by the time they go home, they're dirty. And we give them new collars. Uh, we are two pounds, 13.5 today. I know, and you're not gonna like the collar, but I'm really sorry. Yeah, you'll be all right. Okay, let's do you. I'm gonna do these party ones while I can keep track of them. So this one is a big boy. Yes, it's a big boy. I love this. This is a try. He's got the brown eyebrows. He's also got the merling on his ears. He's got the merle across his head. He's got merling on his coat. And this is puppy number 8959. Huh, are you a good boy? Love the face, love the coat and color. This coat is like phenomenally long, super soft, really, really nice color. Zeros. Okay, let's go. Stand up here. Three pounds, 8.5 is where we're at today. And let's see, since you're a boy, let's give you, you know what? Forest green will show up good on your coat. It's those dark coats that I have trouble getting colors to show up on. I gotta make this just a tiny bit bigger. And he's got his neck all scrunched up. So once I get it to fit him and he gets up and relaxes, because right now he's got his shoulders up to his ears and he's like scrunching up. And once you relax, oh yeah, he's already got a little bit better. You're already looser, aren't you? Yeah, I can get two fingers easily in there, so we're good. All right, so he is 89, 59, and he has a forest green collar. Okay, Munchkin, down you go. All right, so let's do, he says, what did you do to me? I know, let me just sit you over here by the red collar. Unfortunately, once I put collars on him, they're not gonna move. So I figured this was a good week to do it. Now you both have a collar, there you go. All right. Now he's gone. We'll do this one first. I didn't look at your eyeballs, did I? Nope, I did not. Let me look at eyeballs. Do do do. Ah. I would say no, is what I'm thinking. Usually when you pull that up, you can see the blue around him. And I can't tell if they're blue or they're just the color above his pupil. I don't know. It's like 50-50. I can't tell for sure. Cannot tell for sure. But when I shoot pictures next week, we should be able to tell a little bit more. Okay, let me get a hold of you. So this one, oh yeah, this is a double blue eye. No doubt in my mind, this one's double blue eyes. So let's put the neon, no, let's put royal blue on you. Where are you going? What are you doing, huh? Well, this one says I'm gonna get brave and sit up. The other guy says I'm not moving. I got something on my body that's a foreign object. This one might be too loose. No, nope, that's good. All right, so this guy is definitely double blue, both eyes. And his microchip number is 8967. He's got a really pretty blaze. 
Nice, he's got the real dark patch and then the blue merle on the ears. And he's got blue merle on the back. In that gray, there's blue merle. Huh, see, I got blue merle in there. I know, I see it. And the pink on his nose will all go away. It takes about, oh, up to seven, eight weeks and it's usually gone by then. He's got just a little bit left on both sides. All right, let's sit you over here. Two pounds, 15 ounces today. Okay, I'm gonna set you down right there and then it's your decision if you're moving. I'm gonna mash you if I don't pick you up. Okay, let's go over here and kipe up the other blue merle. Come here, pumpkin. All right, sit down here a minute. Let me see your peepers. I can't see you that way, I gotta roll you over. Well, we're blue eyes, we're double blue. Say we're double bubble blue. Say double bubble blue. I know, I know. You're not crazy about this, are you? Also a blue Merle party, 89.56. And he's got blue, you can't see him, I know, but there's blue Merle spotting all through his coat. So if you get to the point where there, if you are picking a puppy and you would like it to have a schnauzer cut, I love to give him a schnauzer cut because it pops all that color out. So if none of them are chosen that are parties by the time they hit that five to six weeks old, I'm gonna give them haircuts because I love them with a schnauzer haircut and it really makes those colors stand out and it's really cool looking. Are you just, are you out of it? Come here, I know. There we go, that's better. Okay, all right, let's see them. I know, says I'm not happy. What are you doing? Are you over here chewing on my coat? All right, let's see what you weigh. I gotta have you out of the way. Are you coming out of there? Come on. Good baby, there you go. All right, now I need to zero out. There it goes. All right, now up, oh my gosh. Three pounds, 6.5. Okay, I know you're shaking, it's okay. I got you, I promise I won't drop you. Put you right here. I don't know if you're going anywhere with the collar on or not, but we'll see. You went up here. I know you can't. You get that slipping on. You guys, I can't go over here any any farther. All right, so let's do the black and I love the black and tans. Let's do them. There you come, Munchkin. No blue eyes. These are just have black eyes. All right, so to get it to show up, let's put a neon green one on you. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. There you go. All right now, you, once you loosen your shoulders, I'll make it a little bit looser, but it's like this guy. Now I can get three fingers under there because he's loosened up. So a lot of times it really just takes just a titch because once they relax, then they get too much collar on there and they tr get their legs stuck in it. So this guy has an all black coat and he's got his the trim up his legs He's got the silver on the front legs, silver across the chest, silver on the face, eyebrows. He's got all the phantom trim. And stand up, pumpkin. He is three, uh, two pounds, 13.5. Okay. Now, let me set you right here. Are you down? And I forgot to tell you, boy or girl, that's a boy. I forgot to look at everybody. It's a male. I know it's a male, male, male. Okay. All right. So you've been up here. So this is a female. You're all right. Yes, you're all right. I don't think you have blue eyes. I'm going to pick her up and check her eyes a second, but I don't think she's got blue. I think you have dark eyes. Dark eyes are good. Huh? Yep. Let me turn you around. So she's got a neon pink collar. You peek at your eyeballs. Oh no, no blue, no blue. She has dark and her number is 89.58. Got junk on your coat. She's got really pretty Merle markings. Super, super thick coat. Just really nice lush coat. She is three pounds, three ounces. Okay, pumpkin, come here. Oh, I know, grunt, grunt, grunt. I'm running out of room where to put you guys. I don't want that too long. That's pretty loose. 
Okay, let me squeeze a little farther. I can sit you right there. She may take off and go somewhere. All right, come here, Munchkin. I know I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, gotcha. All right, let's see what your peepers look like. Oh, wow. Okay, we got definite blue eye on this side. Non-blue eye on this side. So we have one blue eye, one dark eye. Say we have a 50-50 eye, don't we? I know it. I see that big blue eye. Yeah, I know. I see it. All right, so we're going to give her... Let's give her the turquoise. And she's got one blue. Wait a minute. Do you have double blues? I don't think so. All right, let me come up here and put this on you. Let's make it just a titch smaller. All right, under your head, over your ears, snap. All right. She's got really, really pretty. She, oops, 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 oops. She's not quite as heavy merled as this one. You coming up there. So she's got dark there, and there's dark under all of this. If you, when she's cut, you'll really see the merling stand out under her coat. But as of right now, if the coat's this long, you don't really see it. She's got two white feet on the front, two white feet on the back, white around her mouth. Yeah, you definitely have one big blue eye on this side. Okay, oh, you're heavy. Oh, she's got the winner, three pounds, eight ounces. I don't think we had anybody bigger than that. Wait a minute, this is a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> All right, I looked, I, you know, when you first take a glance, their hair covers up. And I thought, oh, this is a girl. But you're not. No, you're a boy. Are you are you bathing my pants? It's licking my pants. Okay. Let's sit you here. All right, let's see who it's got. We got this one and we got the other black one to go. Quit licking my legs. All right, this one is a phantom. Let me see your peepers. Uh no blue eyes. So this is a phantom merle. She's real fancy. She's got lots of trim. She's got pretty brown eyebrows. She's got all the leg trim. And that will always be that way. So she's always going to have the brown trim on her legs. Brown up her back legs. Quit licking my legs. Turn around. Okay, there you go. There, sit down there. And don't lick my pants. And she's got the cross across her chest. Says I'm going to turn around. All right, this is another male. And microchip number is 8969. I thought we had two females in this litter. Do we only have one? Oh, the black one I think is a female. Okay, we are two pounds, 15.5. Are you flying through the air? You'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay. Okay, down you go, Munchkin. All right. Oh, this is too big. Let me make a small adaption on your collar. It's way too big. You're going to get your foot caught in it, and then that will cause problems. So let's just make this a little bit. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. There. Okay. Now we fixed your collar. So the last one in here, I think, is the other female. Nope, this is the male. Don't we have two females in this litter? I thought we did. I thought we did, too. We're going to make it. We're going to check a plumbing check here in a minute. Um, this one is 89.51. Okay, let me see. You've got a littler neck. Let me try this on you. Okay. Okay, that'll work because you got your neck all crunched down. Uh, I'm going to loosen it a little bit. You probably will end up retightening it again, but uh, I hate these buckles. They're hard to open sometimes. Okay. Let's do this. And this. There, we got it. All right, so this one is... 8951 is microchip number. Really pretty coats. 
lots of trim. Got all the light trim on the legs, feet, face, eyebrows, in the ears, the whole phantom coloring. And he is, let's see what you weigh. Three pounds, 7.5. All right, so we're gonna do a quick walk back through. I'm gonna pick this up if I can do it one-handed. like gonna fall come over here all right we have male we know this is a male we know that this is a male watch it be a female nope it's a boy okay we know it's a female all right munchkin we're waking him up male we're keeping Vanessa awake. I can hear her yawning. I'm sure Sorry, you can guys. on the video, too. <laughs> uh, male. Female. So, orange collar. I thought there was two in this litter. 8956 has the orange collar. It's a female. She's a blue Merle. So, we had to repeat. So, we, have, we found the other girl. All right, so that will give you at least a quick look at these guys. Uh, we're running out of room as big as they get and the older they get. Um, they're all doing really good. They've just realistically just been dumped out of the whelp box about four days ago or so. Um, we usually dump them out around the 6th. I don't think we got them around out on the 6th. But they're starting to get pretty ambulatory in their kennels. Um, Starting to chew on dog food, chews on chew on mom, and uh, won't be too long. Once they hit that five week mark, maybe five and a half, we'll start giving mom a break and taking her out during the days and just put her in at night and then back in during the day. Um, that will give them a chance to get away from mom. They can play. We'll have toys to play with. And then when they put mom back in, then we'll take the toys out. So. That'll at least give them a chance to, uh, he says, oh, don't beat me up, I'm going back to sleep. So, but she's got quite a job with this crew. Um, they're doing great, and each week from now on, they will get more active and more active. Um, hopefully, our weather takes a turn again next week. We hear it sounds like it's going to by the weekend, and I'm hoping next week we'll get them outside. Psst, 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 psst. And uh, might even take them out with mom. We've lost our big shade trees, plus right now it's not really shady. So we might try them on the deck with mom and uh, they'll chase her around a little bit and it gets them a little bit used to the grass a lot quicker than it does to just put them out by themselves. So I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you have a blessed week. If you have any questions whatsoever about these guys or would like more information, please feel free to give us a call. Please don't shoot me an email because I can guarantee you right now we're in the middle of splitting all the wood from the trees they took down two weeks ago. Garden is ready to be tilled. Blackberry bushes are being marked and uh, it's summertime and we're working in the kennel and putting our tents back up for the summer. We actually put 185 foot of tents up and it gives the dogs um, a 10 by 10 block of shade the entire day because their kennels are all 10 by 30 out in the kennel. So it gives them at least um, 10 foot wide and where their decks are for shade all day. So Vanessa and I were putting tents up this week. So are you dreaming? Are you dreaming? So anyway, have a good one. Stay warm and we'll talk to you later.